Hello all my YouTubers out there. How are we all doing today? Uh, it's your boy once again Jaguar Raves in the flesh and I'm here but today to tell you all wonderful people that this right here. The thing is first off how did you like my new track that I posted yesterday? It took me so long because my laptop, oh, it was just a pain from even the last, last video of me explaining it and all that. It really, really bugs me a lot at times because my computer is not really that good. Aside from that, that video was that day, the other video was yesterday, and so without further ado, today's video is about why in the world haven't I been signed? Well, the thing is, it is not as easy as it looks, okay? You've got so many things going on that it's just totally upset. You have to look up certain things, you have to do certain things, you gotta make certain things to make other people enjoy it and not just yourself, which is very challenging at times. And there's just so much things to go about it. But the one thing that I always not do, because there's this one track that I always wanted to put out there, but it's just not good enough. Like the recent track was because, you know, it's... I don't know if you heard the YouTube channel of theirs, but it's like Lithuania HQ. It's a type of channel that is very slap housey and all that stuff. And anyways, the thing is, is that they like to take cover for like covers of like classical music. And that is good you know it's great but the thing is with online with google and stuff like that when you download it or whatever you do there's always not clear vocals in it and i remember the last time i did something like that made it out and whatnot the whole track was very muffly it wasn't sounding right and i even though i'm good with making it clear nowadays it will be kind of difficult with even making it sound good, I think, because I haven't gotten that far into my whole thing. There's a lot of steps to do with making music. It's not just sorting and organizing and readjusting and or doing all that thing and then putting it in a mixer and then mastering it and all these other things. They say that there's six steps. Well, that's most likely most of the steps that I've already mentioned. It's though that the vocals even need to be adjusted and there's times where I have to chop them up into pieces because in between the gaps of the, you know, without talking within the music, there's this little crackling thing going on and then you gotta make that so it's not like that, so it's clear. And not just that, but then there's other things and it's just, it's a lot of work and I, like doing it at times but sometimes it just is too annoying that it's too much and it's just like i know i know a lot of people are like saying oh, man up man up suck it up and do what you gotta do to make it happen but the thing is it just it takes a lot of time like you wouldn't believe how much time it takes just to make it clear or sound clear it's half the time i don't even know if it sounds as clear as it should but there you go there you have it it's just it sucks but that's the thing right they always aside from being crackly vocals to whatnot that's the thing apparently for their genre of music yeah it's still considered slap house and all this all that but like covers just covers i always look up what kind of covers because the other thing you gotta take in mind is that there's a lot of covers out there that are basically from the early 2000s to maybe the uh, late 1900s, like the 20th century, to like, you know, what have you. And you gotta just keep in mind that um, making sure that even if you made the cover, make sure that it's not sounding the same thing as others or is the same because if you just put out a random cover that already somebody else 
had the same vocals towards it's just like well we already have those cover vocals on our track so what's the point of having another one but yet there's a lot of times where they do the same things over and over again what i you know what i guess that's fine but it just it just i don't know it, it it's weird to me that's all so here i am trying to figure out my best to just find a simple uh vocal that would solve it all but it's just difficult is what i'm trying to say so yes you might think that if you ever become a producer someday to ones that are even right now watching this video or for the future ones or what have you it's always difficult no one said that this was ever going to be easy because chances are it's not at all easy it's just not like Oh, I make my first track and then all of a sudden I'm like famous. No. And, you know, when I was doing, watching a stream or something like that, the guy said that, you know what? You, the thing is with you is that you always constantly post your demos, da 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 da, and it makes it bad. Also, you always, you know, hashtag our record level and do it on all your social medias and all that all that all that all this and all that and it makes you stand out bad or something like that and that for the longest time got to me really uh much so and at a time where i i just gave up music for a while because it was just too much i mean it, they were just saying truth things like it was truth like it was the truth of it but it's just like you know, I just sucked hearing it like that because, you know, you you work so hard and then you get all this feedback that like, oh, and at the time when they were just about to play my random track, I remember my heart beating so fastly and everything like that. And at the time, they were almost about to skip it because they obviously knew that, oh, well, by the way, you know, should we even consider listening to this? It's just like they were bobbling their heads and were thinking if or you know, what have you, it was just, yeah, but they ended up playing it, they, they listened to it, like, a couple of seconds, and then they kind of chuckled, and talked in a different language, because they're from, like, whatever, like, in around the country that is from a different country, so they obviously speak a different language, that one that I can understand, but, you know, it's just, it, it's just like, I can't even understand what they're saying. But then they speak in English, so I could hear it, what they were talking about, which was good. Because, you know, apparently English is the number one big thing in the whole world here. So, it makes sense to actually talk English for once so you, the other people like me can hear what they're trying to say. So, yeah, there's that. But uh, anyways, aside from all that, just keep in mind once again that um, it's never easy. But the thing is, you just got to keep on keeping on, even if it's hard. You might at times think that, oh, well, what's the point of me just keep on keeping on when all I'm getting is just after time and time again, just rejections 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 and there's come to a point where you know people like on youtube would just give up you know they would they would just hit a certain point in their lives where they would just give up because it's not worth it anymore the time the amount of time that they spent on it no matter how much gadgets they bought or plugins they bought or what have you and eventually say that, oh, nothing's happening, then just to give up. I mean, how much of that money was, say, wasted? How much of your life was wasted? Even though, yes, it was hard. But at the time, at times, it's just like, you got to keep one thing in mind. Just think of, like, I don't know, something that will keep you going. What? inspires you what's your inspiration and maybe that inspiration or inspiring thing that you witnessed or something like that will keep you going and further and further and further and eventually maybe that will lead you to something that will be like a big success and then you're just like yes i finally did it and it's just all the weight is finally off my shoulders and it's just feels so much better 
and you, you'll you start to feel good about yourself because all that time of either in the studio or what have you uh, finally paid off. And now you're, a, a, as they would say, making a living and actually doing something that you now enjoy doing. And sometimes people at that point, when they finally hit that point, they would say, oh, I'm just going to give up my job and then do this new career and see how it goes. And that's great. That's when people start to realize, oh, I am so happy that I come to this and that I can finally do what I've always been dreaming of. So, yeah, there's that. But anyways, enough said. This has been your boy, Jaguar Reds once again. So make sure that you like if you like this video because it really helps me out. Also, make sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell so that you can get updated like these and others along the way. And as always, this has been your boy Jaguar Raves, and I will see you wonderful people in the next one. All right, take it easy, take care, peace out, be healthy, be strong, and all that. Send it done. Goodbye for now. Huzzah. Mm -hmm.